welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in again i just want to remind you that again i'm starting out so be patient with me the videos eventually will get better so last time i said that we were going to make meatloaf so guess what we're making chicken <laughs> i'm playing we're making meatloaf <laughs> okay so these are the ingredients we have about a pound and a half of ground beef i'm not 100 percent sure i kind of just tend to buy the meat and i know by looking at it how much i'm going to use so we have some crushed crackers, some salt, about a cup of diced up onions, um, a little bit of garlic powder, some fresh black pepper, two eggs, some ketchup, some brown sugar, and ginger stir and paste. We also have ground ginger. So normally I will use the ground ginger, but today I think I'm gonna use the paste, so we're just not gonna use that today. So honestly, this is one of the most basic simplest meals to make it is delicious very easy so you have your meat all the ingredients that i mentioned mix it all together mush it up put it in a pan and you put it to cook so we're gonna start you have your meat we're gonna add the crackers i'll add the rest if i need more we're gonna add some salt again this is to taste but keep in mind that you are seasoning meat we're going to put all the onions in here. I hate onions, by the way, but it's actually pretty good with onions. Some garlic powder. Black pepper. And you guys know that I love black pepper, so... together this is my favorite part we're just gonna dig in and just mush the crap out of it make sure that everything is incorporated oh my god this actually feels really good <laughs> try it people try it so you just want to mix it enough so that everything is incorporated don't mix it all extra extra because then it kind of makes the meat a little bit tough. Dig on the bottom, bring it up, and repeat. So now that everything is all mixed in, we are going to put it in the meatloaf pan. I'm not going to spray this or oil this um, simply because it's nonstick. Also, I used 80-20 um, of ground beef. So it is going to let go of some fat. So you're probably going to have to drain it maybe halfway through. We'll, we're going to be checking it. Um, so now we're just going to put it in the pan and make sure that it's all even in there. Just squish it down. Put it all on the corners. Make sure it's all even pretty much. So we have it in the pan. Make sure when you put it in there that you level it all out so you guys can see it's all tight and nice in there. We are going to put this in the oven for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna check it to see if I need to drain it. More than likely you will have to because again, this is 80-20 so it's gonna drain some of that fat. So once we drain it, then we're gonna put the topping which is gonna be the ketchup and the brown sugar and then we're gonna pop it back in the oven and let that cook out. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your oven is preheating to 350 degrees push start and wait for it to beep so this has been in the oven for about 30 minutes i have already drained the fat out of it now comes the fun part we're going to add the ketchup and we're going to add the brown sugar This is going to go back in the oven for about another 30 minutes until it's cooked or the juices run clear.
product of Meatloaf the Gen Way. I have my taste tester for today. It's going to be Michelle. Come here, Michelle. Hi. Eat this meatloaf. <laughs> I want it now. <laughs> okay, so Michelle's going to try the meatloaf. By the way, I want to say that I paired it with mashed potatoes again, the Gen Way. And Michelle has never tried mashed potatoes. These actually have mayonnaise in them. She's never tried them this way, so this is going to be her first time trying it. And stay tuned because my next video is going to be showing you how to make these mashed potatoes the Gen Way. It's really good. I like it. <laughs> this is really good. Thank you. I've never had it with mayonnaise in it before, but this is really good. I like it. very juicy and I like the top they put ketchup on the top and not the bottom a lot of people tend to put it on the bottom but I think this would taste better thank you guys for watching the video again try the recipes for yourself let me know what you guys think about them in the comments below so try the recipe if you like it give it a thumbs up for the video um, comment like and share and again try the recipes